Hey guys, how's it going? Back again here with another exciting video. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully this is going to be pretty good for you. Uh, I'm going to try to save you some money here. And at Lowe's, this is mostly for Lowe's people uh, that have a Lowe's nearby and that shop at Lowe's. Uh, but for you Home Depot people, it's not really aimed towards you, but I think there's going to be some uh, tips for you and some good stuff for you Home Depot people as well. So this is just going to be a tip uh, to save money shopping at Lowe's. Uh, some of you may be aware of this uh, trick already, but some of you probably aren't. Um, go to eBay. Type in Lowe's coupons. Yeah, it doesn't seem much of a secret. <laughs> but it's bringing this to uh, your attention. An apostrophe on the Lowe's, it doesn't make a difference really. Now there's a few, uh, few things to be aware of here. Uh, there are about three different uh, variations of uh, Lowe's coupons. Okay, you got the 50 off 250 purchase. You got the 10% off coupons. Those are always good. And do, 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 do. let's see, well, there's one more. I need to find it. Computer's a little slow, got a few programs going. There's one more. That's, there's 15 off 50. Okay, here you go. Now, okay, there's a few things to be aware of. Uh, typically, I've been doing this for a while and always had, uh, you know, good luck doing this, never really had a problem. Uh, there's just a few uh, details here for you to be aware of and the details that are important most of the time. So typically what I do for whatever coupon, you know, discount I'm looking for. So lately I've been, you know, liking the 15 off 50. So you got to spend at least $50, you know, prior to sales tax. So if you're spending, you know, $49.99, the coupon's not going to work. You got to spend at least $50. And uh, so typically most sellers... Uh, as the coupons get closer to their expiration date, most sellers will lower the price uh, of the coupons. So that's typically what I try to do. It all depends, you know, and look, I'm just looking for basically the cheapest dollar amount per coupon uh, for the type of coupon I'm looking on buying. Like, so like I said, I'm looking for, I've been liking the 15 off 50. So that's kind of typically what I, you know, buy about $50 at a time lately. But if you're going to spend less than 50, you know, you buy the 10% off and so on and so forth. It's whatever makes the most uh, math sense for you. Um, and so a few tips here. Uh, you know, just some eBay rules. You know, make sure they have decent feedback. The seller has decent feedback. And uh, let's see. Let's scroll down here. A few other things to be aware of as far as the Lowe's coupons go. Now there are some Lowe's coupons that are for online use only for the you know Lowe's.com and typically those are lower in price but I really I wouldn't recommend doing that because I mean you can do the whole online and pick up and store thing but typically it's not really worth the trouble because you gotta you know typically you gotta go to the customer service desk you know, I'm probably waiting a you know long line there, and you know you might find out that they got your order wrong, and it's just uh, you know a lot of heartache and hassle. Then you know then it's worth uh, to save a little money on the coupons. So typically, what I do, I buy the coupon, the coupons that are good for both in store and online. So it's the best of both worlds. Um, so also another thing to keep in mind: these are coupons that are uniquely barcoded. So don't go buy one and thinking that you can print, you know, 50 of the same coupon and thinking that they're going to work. You know, they're uniquely barcoded and it can only be used once. So don't try that. <laughs> so also, okay, they're delivered uh, by mostly in PDF form, sometimes JPEG, I guess, um, to your email address, you know, associated with your PayPal slash eBay, you know, account. Um, typically, they're delivered, you know, really quickly, especially if the seller, you know, advertises that they deliver, you know, quickly, as you see here, three minutes. Uh, sometimes it's five or ten or so. So, But typically, you know, you, you could look for a seller that says they deliver quickly, uh, blah, 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 check your spam, junk folder, whatever, you know, all that stuff. And they say here, uh, don't use that, home, not for Home Depot, but... Well, we're going to cover that right now. Uh, let's see. It's looking if I'm forgetting anything. Let me go back. So, okay. Another tip. 
so when you're at the checkout at Lowe's, make sure, here's another little tip. Uh, make sure they ring up all your stuff. Give them the coupon before they press the total slash uh, finalize button on their register. Because uh, typically that will lower the price. It'll take the discount off the item uh, prior to sales tax. And so you'll save a little money on sales tax doing it that way. But if they press the total button and, and you give them the coupon afterwards, not the end of the world. But I just find that typically that seems to uh, save a little money. It seems to work out a little better. But if you live in Oregon and then you don't pay sales tax, you know, good for you. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, so, okay, for you Home Depot people, you can try to use these these uh, Lowe's coupons at Home Depot. Uh, you know, especially that Lowe's being Home Depot's competitor and vice versa. Um, I've it's not guaranteed to work. Don't go buying these, you know, thinking, no, oh, it's going to work for sure. No, it's, you know, it's just, uh, I've done it a few times because obviously they, they are Lowe's coupons and it's something you print it out, you print it out on your home printer and what have you. And it kind of looks kind of shady, you know, it's walking in there with some black and white Xerox paper thing, but I've done it a handful of times, uh, with mixed results, um, with getting the discount. So go into it with the mindset of it not working. Um, so little tips for success for uh, for Home Depot to take your Lowe's coupons. This is what I've done, and this is just a little reality talk here. And most of us live in reality. <laughs> most of us have to live in reality. But a little tips, a little tip uh, for the coupons, a little more success for them to work at Home Depot. What I do if I'm going to try to use a Lowe's coupon at Home Depot, what I do is I look at all the cashiers, I size them up, and generally if I have a choice between a man and a woman cashier, I'll generally uh, choose the man over the woman because typically, you know, the man is more likely to give you uh, the discount versus the woman because women are typically more, you know, uh, by the book, uh, Boy Scouts, if you will, or... <laughs> Probably uh, Girl Scouts, I guess, is a better better word. But, you know, typically women, you know, are play by the rules a little more than men. And, you know, that's just reality. And most of us know that. But just my experience. So typically try to get a man. Um, but if the man looks like a B word, too, don't go to him either. So just use your own judgment. Wow. Um, also, if the cashier, <laughs> you know, if the cashier looks, if, the, if you think the cashier looks new, like it's his first day or first week, don't waste your time either on that person either. So. You know, just use your own judgment on, you know, choosing a cashier uh, that way. Just my experience. Um, just go into it with the mindset it's probably not going to work. But, you know, it's some, it's always worth a try. The worst thing they could say is no. Um, I haven't done it lately. I kind of don't bother doing it. I'll just probably just go to Lowe's and that way I know the coupon's going to work. Um, let's see. There are, there are uh, Home Depot coupons I haven't bought. I haven't bought any uh, Home Depot coupons lately, but looks like a there are Home Depot coupons here on eBay. Look, looks like uh, the pickings on Home Depot coupons is a little better than it used to be. It's not as good as uh, as the Lowe's coupons. It's a little more scarce. Let's see, fifteen percent off uh, your next purchase. You see, there's eighteen bids. 34 bucks. So whatever makes the most math sense for you. If you're planning on spending a lot of money, then it might be worth it. See, you know, there are people bidding on it. Most of the time, I'm just, with the Lowe's coupons, it's buy it now. Let's see. See, there's a mix to Lowe's coupons in here. Um, let's see, guaranteed 10% off Home Depot only blue card coupon. See, some of them are uh, some of the Lowe's coupons are actual Lowe's coupons that are, you know, you know, uh, thick cardstock. Um, those are the good coupons, but typically those are more money. Uh, the ones that you print out of your printer are, you know, cheaper. Um, it's for the Lowe's coupons. So there are some Home Depot coupons, you know, here we are 15% off. And some of the, be aware, some of the Home Depot coupons are fake. They're like um, Google image search coupons that don't have an expiration date on them and that don't have a barcode 
but looks like for the most part these Home Depot coupons here are legit. They have expiration date at 20 off, 200, that's about 10% off. Of course, minus the cost of your coupon. So there are some Home Depot coupons. The, the pickings on the Home Depot coupons is quite a bit less, and you're going to pay a little more money for the Home Depot coupons, but it might be worth it for you. So there's a real Lowe's card type of coupon there. Um, some of these are some of these Lowe's coupons are so where some of these people are getting these Lowe's card 10% off coupons are at the post office. It's kind of like uh, change of address packet, like a new homeowner packet. Um, most post office uh, don't carry those anymore, uh, at least around me. But maybe the post office near you, you could check that out. Check those. They have like normally it's on a on the front counter, like a change of address, you know, moving packet thing. It has a bunch of coupons and stuff at it inside of it. Um, but my post office uh, around me got rid of those long, long time ago. But typically I used to get them out of there. So check your post office. Maybe your post office still carries them. But most of the time, uh, uh, some post offices don't have those. So just be aware of that. Um, let's see. Also, I've Another little side tip for uh, Harbor Freight coupons, uh, the 20% off coupons for Harbor Freight. Uh, I've used them at Home Depot and Lowe's uh, with mixed results. Uh, just go into it with the mindset it's not going to work, likely, you know, because uh, you're walking in there, you know, don't, especially if you're going to buy like a Milwaukee combo set or something, don't go into it thinking it's going to work. Um, uh, you know, that you're going to get 20% off a Milwaukee kit with that uh, Harbor Freight coupon. Because you're to keep in mind, you're going in there with a, a little flimsy Harbor Freight coupon, and they'll be like, yeah, right, buddy. <laughs> but uh, and a lot of, a lot of, go to, like, again, same rules apply, you know, sizing up the cashiers. And some cashiers don't even know what Harbor Freight is. They'll look at it, and they'll be like, what the F's this? And you'll say Harbor Freight, and they'll be like, what Harbor, what is Harbor Freight? And then you have to explain to them what Harbor Freight is. And uh, it's probably not going to work. So sometimes it'll just give you 10% off. And uh, typically just try, I've bought like lower end items like hand tools and stuff. And uh, sometimes it's it's worked and sometimes it hasn't. And especially if you're buying like, you know, like I said, a higher end uh, tool, power tools, like Milwaukee combo kit or something. The guy will say, no, we don't, we're not going to give you that. Uh, but he's like, sometimes they'll say uh, just like hand tools because the, for the guys that know what Harbor Freight is they know you know Harbor Freight you know sells tools and hand tools and they know Harbor Freight doesn't sell uh, Milwaukee so that's what one cashier told me at Home Depot so I mean you see you size up the cashiers you know if the guy looks like he knows what Harbor Freight is or not but like I said go into it with the mindset of it not working uh, I don't really bother doing that though but I've done it a few times with mixed results so this is another side tip here. Just some tips here, guys, for you to try to save some money. But definitely the home de uh, the Lowe's uh, coupon type of thing is definitely really good. I have great success with it. And there are some uh, Home Depot coupons as well. Just not as many. And they're more a little more expensive. And they tell the trendies how the trendies go, rip me off. <laughs> Get into it. <laughs>